Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do an August favorites video and show you guys actually everything that I love for August and for June and July since I wasn't able to record those favorites videos for you guys. But before we get into it, I want to announce the winner to my giveaway from my last favorites video. It was a hair extension giveaway, so the winner is right here. Congratulations, you won a free pair of hair extensions from Luxie Hair and I need basically all of your mailing information. So as soon as you can, please send me an email and I will get those out to you as soon as possible. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started with my August favorites. I'm going to start off with this first. It's called Formula 2. It's a nail protein treatment. And I have been using this for the past like week and a half, I think it's been now, because I actually took off my acrylic. I just really want to rebuild the nail right now. I don't want to do acrylics again. I mean, honestly, just looking at what my nails look like underneath of the acrylic nails, it kind of saddens me. I can't believe I made my nails suffer for so long. So I'm happy that I got the acrylics off and now my nails can breathe. It definitely filled in the dents and the holes that I had. I did have little pieces of nails sticking out every which way and I was able to smooth that down. It has like a really nice glossy finish which I really like. I definitely noticed a huge difference in my nails. They look a lot better. I haven't noticed any growth really because my nails are very slow at growing but I do feel like they are stronger than they were even before I had acrylics. So I'm, I'm really noticing a difference and I'm hoping that this will work really well in the next few weeks. If any of you have used this, definitely let me know what you think about it. Next up, I wanted to talk about all of my new brushes. These are from BH Cosmetics, and I know you guys have been noticing I've been using them a lot in my videos. I really, really like them because they're purple, and lately, purple has become like my favorite color. There's actually more brushes that came in the set. It was like a full set that it came with, but I cannot seem to find them all right now, so I'm just showing you these right here. This is just like a blush brush. This is a angle brush I use for the crease. We have a um, another angle brush and I use this for like my lower lash line or my eyebrows and then this can be used for foundation so these are just four of the brushes that come in the set they're really nice I mean they're pretty good quality I would rate them up there with like Sigma brush quality Sedona lace brush quality uh, but I believe they are cheaper so hey <laughs> and since they're so pretty they look really nice like just sitting on your desk and stuff like that they're, they're really good um, decorate decorative pieces so I've been really loving my new palette here that I got from Makeup Geek. I'm going to link every single eyeshadow that I have in this palette here that I made for myself um, in case you guys want to make one similar like this. I'll have the list of all of the names of the eyeshadows and links so that you can go look at them and see them and buy them for yourself if you're interested. But yeah, I've just been loving the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I think they're amazing. They have a lot of great colors and they're so crazy, crazy pigmented. I'm wearing some of them today, my favorites actually. What am I wearing today? I'm wearing Vanilla Bean, Shimma Shimma. I'm also wearing Coco Bear, which is my favorite Makeup Geek eyeshadow right now. And then I'm also wearing Brown Sugar. Even though they're all very similar colors, you can make a lot of different looks with these. And I think they're the most perfect colors for fall. I wanted to share some of my favorite lipsticks with you guys for this fall season. Um, one of them being what I'm wearing right now, which is L'Oreal's Sunset Red number 302. I really like this because it's like a medium tone red. And I actually paired that today with my Estee Lauder 123 Fig Pure Color Long Lasting Lipstick and this is just a darker red. So I just combined the two of these as well as a um, dark brown lip liner to create the look I'm wearing right now. Uh, but yeah, I really like that dark red lipstick look. And I also like for a more plum lipstick, Bella. This is from Flirt. It's more on the natural side, but it's got that nice berry tint to it. It is super creamy and the color is really nice. I don't know if you guys have ever tried any lipsticks from Flirt. I've never honestly heard about it until I walked into Kohl's like a few months back and I'm like, what is this? <laughs> but they're really good lipsticks. I, I mean, I feel like no one ever talks about them, but they're honestly amazing. I feel like I need to pick up more. But as of right now, I mean, this is the only one that I own and I'm just like absolutely obsessed with it. And if you happen to be more into the natural side when it comes to lips, I would definitely recommend this one. This was my favorite for the past month. It's Burt Bees, Burt's Bees Replenishing Lip Balm with Pomegranate Oil. And what's cool about it is that it has a little bit of a tint to it. It's um, gonna like stain your lips a little bit this color, but in a natural way. Give them a nice gloss, keep them moisturized throughout the whole entire day. We have to take a moment 
to talk about this foundation right here. This is the Maybelline Dream Wonder Fluid Touch Foundation. I have mine in Creamy Natural. This is the most perfect match to my skin that I've ever had. This just gives the most beautiful, dewy, glowy, natural finish to the skin and I absolutely have been obsessed with it. I love it so much. Favorite concealer has been this one right here. It's the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer with Anti-Fatigue Effect and Radiant Glow. It has this property in it that actually reflects the light really well off of the skin and just makes it glow, like on this whole entire upper area, which is where I applied mine. I have it on today. And I think it works well covering pimples as well, if that's what you want to use it for, but I mainly use it for under eye concealer just to highlight this whole entire area. I can't not talk about this. This is the Voluminous Miss Mega Mascara. And I recently did a review on this if you guys want to check it out but I love it so much I'm wearing it right now it's all I'm wearing on my lashes this stuff is really good like for a drugstore mascara it's pretty affordable it's under $10 I love that the brush is more on the thinner side so I can actually like get into my inner lashes here works amazing on the bottom lashes never smears the formula is amazing because it's a little bit on the drier side so it actually dries very quickly and then you can just go about doing whatever else you want to do for your makeup routine yeah what 100% this is my favorite mascara right now. So I actually got this from a subscriber. Her name is Olivia. Yeah, she gave me a lot of lotions from Bath & Body Works. My favorite one was this one right here, and I've been using it nonstop. I love it. It's like my favorite scent ever, because I love fruity stuff. I never knew I loved the way mango smelled until I got this lotion. Apparently, it's like my favorite scent ever. Oh, it smells good. This has been my favorite perfume for the past month. It's from Marc Jacobs. It's called Daisy Dream. I mainly like it because the packaging is so cute. <laughs> That's why I love it so much, I won't lie. The smell is actually pretty good, but I actually like the packaging more than the smell, so it's kind of weird. Really refreshing, fresh smell. Like, almost like when you just do the laundry, but a little bit more sweet. It's more of a daytime type of perfume, but it smells good. I would say it's got a youthful scent to it too. And this is the last thing here. This is my new personal planner. A subscriber from my vlogging channel sent me an email and she said, hey, I am a part of this website called personalplanner.com where you can create your own planners, like literally design them front to back exactly how you want it. And she's like, I will give you a free coupon code so you can create your own and see if you like it. And if you do, then I'll send you one. So I was like, all right, I'm down. I'm like, okay, I'll create my own personal planner. I've always needed one. Well, I mean, I have one. I had one before, but I didn't have one that was like unique like this, like something that no one else has except for me. And so I designed this myself on her website. It has this cute little purple strap here. This is what the front cover looks like. It's got a plastic case over it. I decided to use this image which I found on Google Images. I was just searching for pretty much just lipstick or makeup and I found this one. It's a YSL lipstick. The background's like blurred but it's purpley which is why I liked it. I also designed the inside of it and I put like a little pink banner here. Um, there's an open space so that I can doodle and then there's some lines so that I can um, actually write a little bit more organized. I left this space open and then in the back I just have this overview of each month. So I mean you can literally design it exactly however you want it to look. It's really nice. I mean this is like really good quality. Lots of new ideas have come to me ever since I bought it. So if you guys want to buy your own, she did give me a coupon code that you guys could use. I don't make any profit or money off of it. I solely just wanted to get one for you guys in case you wanted to make one too. So I will put it down in the um, description box as well as her website link and everything like that. Alright guys, so that is it for my August favorites. I'd actually love to know what is one of your August favorites or you can tell me them all down in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up before you leave and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye! It's not your average lip gloss. I mean, chapstick. It's my favorite foundation right now. 100% hands down, hands down, Han Solo. It has this property in it that actually refre reflects, her name was Olivia, was, <laughs> her name is Olivia. It's orange. I just like put it next to my bed stand, next to my, on my bed stand, next to my bed. I mainly like it because the packaging is so cute. <laughs> and it just looks really cute. It's like if you're younger, you can wear this. If you're in your 20s, you can wear this. Possibly 30s. <laughs> This is my YouTube planning book right here. Book. <laughs> book. It just goes through the months from August 2012. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Look how cute these are. It's like a little sheep. It sheep is socks. a sheep. I know, I know it's a sheep. <laughs> oh my god, look at the little kitty.
Oh my god, I call the zebra. No, the zebra's the best one! Look, it has little hearts on it. It says hopeless romantic. Mm. I feel like it's just happiness. <laughs> yeah, Matt, we got you a USB 